Hey everybody, Tell Judkins here, the Upland Game Biologist for the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation. Coming to you from my uh, kitchen table as I process some of the uh, wings and wing envelopes from this past season. Um, hunters that have been in the field over the last year um, may have encountered one of our wing envelopes while you were out um, hunting on one of our WMAs like Beaver River or Cooper or Pack Saddle, Sandy Sanders. The list goes on and on. We've got them on about 10 different WMAs currently. Um, the wing envelope asks for several different things like uh, we try to mark where the, the wing was harvested from, so like beaver, optima, so on and so forth. Um, we've got a box here for the number of males harvested, females harvested, uh, bob white, scaled, or if you, if you don't know you can hit unsure. Next little box is some demographics on a little bit about you so or about your hunt. So what day was were you out there what's your home zip code so we know kind of how far you traveled to get to that specific wma um, the number of hunters both uh, adult and youth um, how many hours were you out hunting how many dogs did you use and then lastly we ask if we can contact you with a follow-up survey if, if we would like to or if we need to um, the last box is about the weather conditions and what type of habitat that you hunted while you were out there that day so um, like for instance was it sunny cloudy was it raining was there frost on the ground um, all of those things can kind of help us uh, determine um, across the spectrum how much success you could have had had the weather been a little bit better or a little bit more favorable so for instance if you hunt a really dry day uh, with high winds your dogs are going to have more difficulty finding the birds um, whereas if it's a, um, a really humid day or a lot of dew on the ground, uh, the dog is going to have a better time picking up that scent. That scent's going to last on the ground a lot longer. So let's take a look. Uh, we've got a envelope from Cooper WMA that I'm working on currently. Um, this hunter harvested um, five birds on December 17th of 2019. Um, Let's see, he hunted for about six hours with three dogs and uh, encountered five coveys averaging 15 birds a covey. Not too bad of a day. The winds were uh, about, or it was about 43 degrees and 10 mile an hour winds, cloudy and he was hunting native grass. So you might be wondering what I do with all the wings. So um, first I go through each wing and look um, at the box provided he says he had harvested three males and two females so i go through and look at the wings to determine make sure that that's true that's correct um, for instance on this wing here i'll try to zoom it in so you can see there's not a lot of any patterning or anything right there that's going to be a female wing on another one here try to find a really good example um, here he's got a lot of really fine black lines. That's gonna be a male. So now we know, we can confirm, yes, I've gone through all of these, he has three males and two females. Next, I'm gonna look at, that's a really good example there. Um, get this fanned out where you can see. These feathers right here, they're kinda of difficult to see because they blend in with the, the other ones, but ultimately this is an adult. Um, there's no markings on the tips of the feathers next one here you can see on those feathers the little bitty white tips that means that this is a juvenile now all of the feathers are grown in fully so this juvenile is over 150 days old on December 17th so he's gonna be born uh, first part of August next one we have yep all right awesome so this one's a little torn up either it uh, was a little close or the the dog got a little rough on it but ultimately Try and get it here where you can see. This is the tenth primary is has been shot off. The ninth primary there is a little torn up, but the eighth is this little bitty guy here, and there's a sheath. So that's actually still a, a pin feather that's still growing. We can actually measure that, and it measures, let's see, about 24 millimeters. So if we go to our handy dandy chart, which was published many years ago in the Bob White Quail, It's Life and Management, it actually tells me that a uh, 24 millimeter eighth primary is approximately 111 days old. So that means that bird was born August 28th of last year. Pretty neat. If we go to our next wing here, yeah, this one's got another one we can measure. So we have, this one will be a little bit easier to see as well. 
10th primary, 9th primary, 8th primary is that little guy right there. So we can measure it. And then its 7th primary is also still growing. What I'm doing here is I'm looking at the back side of the, the feather. And you can see the sheath there on that one. And there's still some sheath on the one next to it. Right there where my fingernail's at. So we'll measure both of those real quick. Let's see, we have on the 8th primary 29 millimeters and on the 7th primary we have 76 millimeters. So again we go back to our chart and for the 8th being 29 and the 7th being about 76 113 to 114 days old. My pup is coming to join us here. Um, that means uh, 113 days old puts it born August 26th of 2019. So once we have all the data put together, we end up with a little a chart that says the, the peak hatch was on this week and on this week, um, or we had three different hatch events across the WMA. There's a lot that we can kind of learn. Um, and then we can compare that with rainfall and all of those types of things to uh, better forecast what our seasons are going to be looking like uh, throughout the summer based on the rainfall and uh, the overall greenness and things like that that's going on on our WMA. So hope you've enjoyed this and uh, good luck this next season. We're looking pretty good right now. And uh, if you're on one of those WMAs that collects wings, I, I ask you to please fill out the wing envelope and uh, help us learn some more about our birds. Thank you much, and we'll talk soon.